Everybody else pretty much the same, along with the draft pick of Derrick Rose. Roy Hibbert out there Good did point. not finish the other night. Uh, he made the right play, too. Because he, he got himself in, in trouble, but he's a guy that can get it at that elbow and still make good shots, and take good shots, and make something happen. Now TJ Ford guarding Derrick Rose, and Rose takes it inside and draws the foul. What you can see, though, is how strong he is. Well, here we are, Wednesday night, Pepsi Coliseum. Roy Hibbert with an elbow to the face of Melvin Eli. And Eli did not like it one bit. Roy was assessed a technical foul, and it was also called a flagrant two. He was ejected from the game. But Roy's able to play tonight. I wouldn't encourage that from anybody. But I, thought the, what the, I thought the ruling was fair under the circumstances. because you shouldn't elbow anybody, but sometimes that happens in basketball. But what the league, and I think rightfully does, is say you cannot elbow anybody above the shoulders, because that's when it gets a little dangerous. And you can absorb it. If I hit, if, I'm, if you elbow me, and, and well, I don't have muscles anymore, but if you elbow me where my muscles used to be, you know, I can take that. But if you elbow me in my face, uh, that, that's just not something I can handle. Also, anybody. also talking to the New Orleans people, as TJ Ford takes it inside with a left hand. Roy there for the rebound. Battling Gray inside to Graham. He fell down and sepulchs Larry Hughes on for the first no free throw. Yeah. You play with no Sione. He, he's going to force you to do it. You're right, but there's no free throw uh, taken away. You still got a chance to get the ball back. Andres Nocioni, fifth year out of Argentina, wears number five. Yeah, he stole it. He's, you know what I like about him? But he got some veteran moves. All he's got to do is perfect them. <laughs> so that's what that's what we have to look for. Once he starts perfecting these moves, uh, he's going to be all right. Seven foot two, 278 pounds, 21 years of age. Got his degree, four years at Georgetown. No Sioni inside the arc. That one's off, and Hibbert has the rebound. This high post play with Hibbert. Now rush again. This time couldn't get it. Oh, nice play there by Roy. Nice job, Stan Acker. Roy Hibbert, 94 feet away. No Sioni had the rebound, was going the other way, and Hibbert stripped it. Josh McRoberts, who has the ball now. Uh, he needs some more seasoning. Come on down, play for the Mad Ants. <laughs> we need you to. I I'm glad because Jim and I talked about this earlier this year. We were, you know, working. We've been working together with this uh, program we have going here tonight, and he's really looking at Josh McRoberts. Quinn, you now have Chicago as well, though, right? Uh, no, that's oh. Iowa. We don't want them. I'm sorry, you don't have Chicago. Never mind. This kid, 25, looks like he'd be prime Mad Ant material. Oh, you got to tell you. You think you think Rush needs some more seasoning? and Fort Wayne would be a good place for him. Listen, I will do whatever I have to do. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Jeff, We're delusional here in Fort Jeff, Wayne, too. I don't know if you know that. Jeff, as we watch this, the NBA season will start in about three weeks. The Pacers in Detroit, one of your teams as well. Uh, when do you guys start your season? Well, first I want to tell you, we love you guys. Okay, the Pistons. okay, that's uh, good. No, well, of course not. Now I want to ask both of you a question because, Quinn, you and Jeff have worked together here. Do you think at some point as Hibbert lofts it up, McRoberts tips it in, do you think at some point 50% in the first quarter after a 31% night at the Pepsi Coliseum on Wednesday? It's Hibbert, McRoberts, Rush, Graham, that's and Ford, and Hibbert. He can do that. You know, this is a play, believe it or not, this is a, that's an old Celtic play. Yeah. They used to call it horns up, where you can get the ball in that post, and then you just cut off the post. But Roy Hibbert should be exceptional at it, because first of all, he's a, he's a good passer. He really understands how to play. And when this group learns how to play together, it's going to be very interesting to see how they continue to grow and develop. And I think it'll be a very positive thing for him. Uh, he, he wanted to get the, the, some solid guys on the floor, and I, I do think he's done that. And he's got some talent, too. I mean, there's some talented players here. Roy is a talented player. Has a space. Sean was going to play. Going to the basket. The foul is called on Hibbert. And Jim O'Brien, a teaching moment there on the sideline, talking to Roy. And, and you see that in practice, telling the big guys to keep their hands up. Once you bring them down, Quinn, that's going to be a foul every time. Well, yeah, he's just trying to get Roy to understand the rules in this league. And if he goes straight up, 
he makes it difficult. It's a challenge shot for a guy that's a challenge shooter anyway. Tyrus Thomas in his third year out of LSU. With, with his man on his back, they got to throw him the basketball. I mean, that was before uh, Josh McRoberts took that shot. Roy Hibbert's in the post with a guy on his back. You got to give it to him. And here's Rush open as TJ Ford found him. He got to throw him the ball. Now Hibbert has it in the post, seven to shoot. Fires it back out, Good right play. back to Roy. Good play. I mean, that, that was the right play that McRoberts made because he, he he made a tough pass, but he, he needed to throw the ball back in because Simmons can't handle it. I mean, Roy, right there, Roy Hibbert is open. And so he, he throws the ball out. Now watch what Mike Roberts does. He's he repost, what you call a repost. And Simmons couldn't handle him as he came back in the lane. It's been a tough night at the free throw line for the Pacers. They were shooting below 60%. As Jarrett Jack back on the floor now for Indiana as T.J. Ford sits down a 12 point quarter for T.J. He has 15 to lead Indiana. And another two shot free throw opportunity goes away for Indiana. Josh McRoberts and rookie Brandon Rush. Here's Big Roy in the lane with a little right hand jump ball. Well, they always say, Quinn, you can't teach size. There's a jump hook the other way. It's no good. And Indiana has it back, trailing by four. Oh, nice pass. Hibbert to Jaron Jack. Yeah, see, that's what you, you know, people will figure out. I mean, hopefully they don't if you know. Not on the Pacers team, but Roy is a, he just understands how to play. That gives you two very good passing big men in Hibbert and Nesterovich. And now this is playing out how Jim O'Brien wanted it to. Big minutes for McRoberts, Hibbert, and Rush. And McRoberts could almost be considered a rookie. He played just eight games last year in Portland. Jack and McRoberts were teammates in Portland last year. And now Hibbert puts it on the floor and goes right to the basket. That's a nice move. He's got a chance, boy, because that really is a tough move. And now Good Washington. Defense. That's got to be Pacers ball. Yeah, Washington two at the United Center in Chicago. Indiana was three games better than the Bulls last year. Indiana in third place in the Central Division. Chicago was in fourth. Oh. So I'm telling you, it was a risky pass, but what a pass. By Roy Hibbert, because many people don't normally make that pass. First of all, they don't like catching it, so they, they have a hard time seeing it. I mean, but he made a pass, and I mean, well done there. And Josh McRoberts has six, and now Jack puts it away. Indiana now has a chance to regain the lead. And Hibbert played a part there defensively. And Hibbert fires the jumper. And the Bulls have it back. Up the rebound. Jim O'Brien urging his team to run. Good Jack. pass. Really good pass. Well, I think that you're, you're seeing some things out of Roy Hibbert. A lot of people don't think he can play in this offense, but there you saw Indiana in transition. Jack leading the fast break. And Roy Hibbert delivering the layup. So good moments for Brandon Rush and Roy Hibbert. And the Pacers back in front in Fort Wayne. The Pacers have regained the lead here in the fourth quarter in Fort Wayne. 7.52 to play. They lead the Chicago Bulls 78-76 and getting key contributions here. Late in the third quarter and early in the fourth from the rookies, Brandon Rush. He has 11. Is it five of seven from the field? And also from big Roy Hibbert. Yeah, I mean, Roy makes a, a terrific pass there. You know, he's got 8.6 rebounds. I mean, and then he does a nice job. He runs the floor. I mean, you're playing against, particularly with somebody like Aaron Gray. You see, he's pleased with it. But he, he, he reminds me of, of, of like Robert Parrish in this sense he, and Larry Bird. They knew when to run. They may not run all the time, but they know when to run and when to try to take advantage of the teammate. The other thing that's interesting is I've watched Roy, Roy Hibbert. You think that he's big and he doesn't have a spurt. He has a spurt. 
And I've seen him run and just get in front of the man about half court. And then he just keeps his man on his back. And so he's gotten him beat all the way down the floor. So the two rookies have combined for 20 points. Rush with 11 and Hibbert with 9. Derrick Rose back out there. 